Hello friends, welcome to Trish Tech Institute and in today's Safe Storage tutorial series we will be discussing about how you can gracefully power down or reboot your Safe Storage cluster nodes. So there are two methods, first method is using traditional system CTL where using system CTL you will be stopping those services and then proceed for the power off or reboot and then there is the second method that is Safe IDM using safe orchestrator you will be stopping the services and then you will proceed for the reboot so in this demo i'll be showing you how you can do that using system ctl so let's start the demo please note for this demo i have used uh, fedora 37 as the base OS, and i am using the safe community edition quincy as my safe storage cluster version so similar steps you can follow for red hat safe storage 5 and 6 and also in SUSE safe storage. So let's go for the demonstration. So in my uh, demo I have a 3 node cluster so you can see using chef ADM shell. So I'll do chef org host ls. So you can see I have 3 node cluster but in a production uh, cluster usually you'll have separate monitors, separate OST, separate RGW and not but in my case all are running on the three nodes so first thing what you do you check the safe status so your safe cluster should be on health okay and then only you should proceed you can check the health also safe health uh, detail to see the cluster is in proper shape once that is there then you proceed with the client stop so all the clients who are connected to that cluster either by RGW or MDS or RBD they need to stop so if it is MDS or R RBD you need to unmount them and if it is RGW you need to disconnect the session once you done with that then you go for the next uh, set of action that is setting up few OSD flags so what all flags will be setting up first thing will set up OSD safe OSD set no out so this is the first flag we'll set then we'll set no recover then we'll set uh, no backfill why i'm setting this so that usually when you bring down any osd it will try to mark it as a down and then out and then it will try to do rebalance to next available osd so that we don't want because that will be unnecessary headache for us so that's why we are setting up this flag so once you're done with no backfill then you do no down flag and once that is done then i'll set pause so that it will pause the osd for any kind of activity so once these things are done then i'll proceed for my rgw or mda service so in my case if you see safe or uh, ps i have rgw running on my chef 2 and chef 3 node so i'll be going there and i'll stop the rgw so i'll do chef 3 first I'll do system CTL grave RGW. So this is the service name. So I'll do system CTL stop RGW service. So similarly, I'll do same thing on safe to node. Also, it takes some time because in background it will be like a container uh, running. So it will take some time to stop the container and destroy the so once this is node done then i'll go to the other node so save to similarly system ctl grave rgw so system ctl stop rgw so if you have mds similarly you need to uh, stop the safefs first and then mds service and then you should proceed for the next set of service that is OSD. So in this node also I have OSD running. So I'll just stop them also. System CTL. I'll do that grave and then I'll system CTL stop both the OSD services. So similarly I'll go to that uh, chef 3 that also has OSD service running. So grave OSD system ctl stop both the qst services once rgw done and this two node osd done then i'll move to the chef one cell chef one node and here i'll do the same thing uh, sorry not in chef adm i'll do it via system ctl so system ctl grave 
OSD. So system CTL stop both the OSD services. So now I have done disconnecting our clients, stopping RGW, stopping OSD once that is done. Then I can go ahead and stop my monitor services. So similarly, I'll do system CTL stop the mon similarly i'll be doing same thing on my other two nodes as well so system ctl grep for mon so i'll do system ctl stop monitor so say five and mon so similarly shift to system ctl for monitor here also then system CTL stop monitor so RGW done OSD done stopping monitor once all these things done then you need to stop your one by one node so I'll do here system CTL power off on safe 2 similarly I'll do it on safe 3 so system CTL power of there also and then I'll do my final node so as my safe one node is also admin node so I will not do manually any other node power off so along with safe one my admin node is also powered off so like this you can shut down all your cluster nodes or reboot your cluster nodes now how you will bring it up so order will be opposite first you will bring up your admin node then monitor node then your OSD nodes, then your RGW nodes. So remember here, as uh, we just only did system CTL stop, so as soon as you bring up your nodes, all the services will be automatically powered on. So let's start the nodes and check it back. So as you can see, uh, all the nodes are up. So I'll just do ping shift three. So it is pinging shape 2 this is also pinging so now what i'll do i'll just check back the services on this node so system ctl similarly i'll just do e grave mon osd rgw so rgw is not running here so you'll not see here but you'll see monitor is running osd is running similarly if i just instead of checking all the nodes as i was telling you that it's system ctl and we just did only stop we didn't do disable so after reboot the services are automatically started so similarly you can check it from the cephidium shell so i'll do chef org ls i should see all the services are up and running so as just it came up so it will take some time but it should give me the status of all the services whether they are running or they are not running so as you can see from here uh, from the safe status so all the monitors are running all the mgs are running and all the osds are up but if you remember that we have set some flags so once this is there was all the nodes are up you need to unset those flags so for that you do chef osd unset pause then you do unset no down then you do no out then you do no recover and then no rebalance so what are five flags we set all those things we have removed so if i do say five and s no backfill is still there sorry uh, no rebalance no back fill so check back the status so health is okay all the rgw everything is running i no need to manually start anything else now once this is done then you should start back your uh, connect back to all your clients so if they are using rbd or ffs so mount them if they are connecting to rgw then you log in back using rgw again 
so let's uh, recap the steps so to stop it first thing what you do you stop your clients then you set your OST flags that is uh, no out no down no bell rebalance no recover no backfill and pause once that is done then you stop your MDS and RGW nodes and also if you have safe FS, so you need to uh, stop the safe FS shares also once that is done then you do your OSD nodes down one by one so here nodes means first OSD services and then the node once that is done then you move to your monitor node one by one and then you at last you stop your admin node now powering on will be the same thing first you start your admin node then you start your monitor then OSD then RGW MDS and then you reset the chef FS once those things are done then you unset your OSD flags and you check back your cluster health so cluster health should be on health ok so once you done with that then you bring up your chef FS if you have anything and at last you connect back the clients so if you have liked this thing please press the like button in the YouTube channel and also share it with your friends and colleagues you can use the comment section to let me know what you liked or why you liked or if you don't like also let me know there why you didn't like so that I can work and improve on next videos the same thing and one more thing before going let me remind you that if you have not subscribed to my channel let's take Institute E8 please subscribe to it and press the bell icon so that you get notification about upcoming videos and you can watch them as soon as they are uploaded and you don't miss them. So thank you. Thanks for your time. We'll see you in our next video.